Okay, hi. So today I'm going to be making meat pie. Meat pie is a type of guardian pastry. I think the nearest thing to it would be a pasty. So for that, you need some plain flour. You need butter and margarine, which has which is cold, so it's been chilled. You need some cold water. You need some salt. I like to use nutmeg. Just add another type of flavor into it, but that's optional. And sometimes when I make it, I do use a little bit of sugar. I think whenever I add sugar, I add no more than um, one teaspoon of sugar to it. It just gives it a different kind of taste to it. Sometimes if you want the pastry to be a bit crispier and lighter, instead of using plain flour, use self-raising flour. The amount of flour you use and butter, it just depends on yourself. The general rule for making the, this, the shortcut pastry is you would use, it's basically a ratio of one to two. So one portion of butter margarine to two portions of flour. So, so that basically depends on what you're going to do. I mean today I'm going to be making 250 grams worth. So that means I will be using 125 grams of the cold butter or margarine to 250 grams of the plain flour. Okay, so the first thing to do is to sift the flour mixture. So here I have 250 grams of flour. I've got half a teaspoon of salt and I've got a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And so I'm going to just mix this together. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add the cold butter to it. I'll just, you can either dice them or just break them into smaller pieces. Um, so add that to it. And like I said, the amount of butter I'm adding is 125 grams. So it's basically ratio of one, one butter to two portions of flour. So rub in the butter until it forms, it starts to resemble breadcrumbs. Okay, so as you can see, it's now resembling breadcrumbs. So I'm going to make a well, and then I'm going to add the cold water to it. The amount of cold water you need for this amount of flour and butter is between two to four or two to five tablespoons of cold water. But add the cold water gradually. So I'm going to add two tablespoons first and I'm going to mix it round with a, a round bladed knife or a palette knife. Yeah, so just mix around like this. I'm going to add another tablespoon of water to it and then mix it again. Basically, you stop mixing it with the knife once it forms large lumps. I think you can see that the lumps are quite large now. So now you use your hands to basically roll, form a dough. Yeah, basically the hands to form a, ball, a dough ball. This dough is too dry, it's too flaky, so I'm going to just add another tablespoon of water to it. This dough is actually perfect. As you can see, it's not flaky. It's formed a nice ball. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap it in, flatten it, wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge to chill for at least 30 minutes to one hour. Okay, so I've wrapped it in cling film and I'm going to put it in the fridge for, to chill for 30 minutes to an hour. And that's the basic recipe for a shortcut pastry. I mean, you generally use shortcut pastry to make types of pies, like savory pies or sweet pies. Okay, so whilst the pastry is chilling in the fridge, I'm now going to make the filling. So the filling, you can use any filling of your choice. Sometimes people use corned beef, a bit of onions, um, or you can have egg, tuna, onions. I'm going to use some vegetables. So I've got some frozen vegetables here, add a bit of potatoes to it. Um, and I'm going to use some tuna as well. And so what I'm going to do first, because I want my onions to be slightly um, softened, I'm going to just brown them, so soften them slightly in the pan. 
Okay, so in this pan, I've just got a tiny bit of oil and I've got the onions. I want the onions to just slightly become translucent. So I don't want to overcook them. Okay, so the onions are become a bit soft and translucent. So I'm going to add the other vegetables to it. Add the tuna plus the the um, brine inside. Okay, and I'm going to now add some a bit of pepper, a bit of curry powder, and some mixed herbs to it. But this is all optional. I just like those flavors. Okay, so my filling is now done. I mean, you don't you don't have to cook the filling. Sometimes you can just use the onions raw. It get, makes it more crunchy. And like I said, just you can just boil a hard hard boiled or onion. I'm um, sorry, a hard boiled egg, and just add that to it or corned beef with a bit of onions and tomatoes. That tastes very good as well. So I'll let this mixture um, cool a bit and then I'll roll out the pastry. This dough actually keeps for up to three months in the freezer itself or you can make it and use it in a couple of days if you just keep it in the fridge. So I'm going to divide this into maybe six sections and then roll it out. Okay, so I've cut it out into six segments and I'm going to roll each one out. Okay, so roll it out into the desired um, shape. You can roll it out into a rectangle shape or you can roll it into a circular shape, any shape that you want and the thickness that you desire as well. Um, and then basically fill one half with the filling and then we're going to now roll this over. We're going to just flip this over like that. Okay, so I filled um, one half of the filling. Just careful not to overfill it. I'm going to just brush the um, edge with a bit of milk. You can use eggs to do this. Use an egg wash, but I'm going to use a milk wash. This is just to help to seal the ends. And then just fold it over. Yeah, so you just fold it over like this. Then use your fingers just to crimp it slightly. And then I'm going to use a fork to make a shape here and the fork to just create some holes in the top so the steam will come out as it's cooking. Okay, so I've used the fork to just make a nice pattern on the ends. It also helps to keep it together and then I just poke some holes in the top of it. I'm going to brush it over with, a, with milk. This is going to add a nice glaze to it. You can use egg wash for that as well. And I'm going to put it onto a tray here that I have greased and lightly floured. And repeat the process with the remaining um, dough mixture. Okay, so um, I'm now going to put this in an oven that has been preheated um, at 200 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark 6. You leave it in the oven for around three, between 20 25 minutes until it becomes golden brown. Okay, so as you can see the um, meat pie is nice and golden brown, so it's done. So I've taken it out of the oven, I'm going to just put on a cooling rack for it to cool slightly. Okay, so I'll just put on the cooling rack and I'm going to leave it here just to cool down a little bit and then it'll be ready to serve. Okay, so that's basically the meat pie done. Um, one of them, I, what I did was I just cut an extra piece of the dough, put some milk at the bottom and then do another milk wash on there so you get another pattern there that's basically the meat pie so make sure that the filling that you use you don't have too much liquid inside or else it makes the dough very soggy and I mean this dough is quite good because it um, can be used for various types of pies as well like apple pie and different types of pie so it's quite a good dough recipe to know and I hope you um, Enjoy this meat pie.